What's going on folks? My name is Josh and you're watching The Outdoor Dude. In today's video we're going to be talking about three ways to rig a tube, so stick around. Bang. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. Now this video guys is going to be for beginners, so if you're pretty well versed in tube fishing, feel free to click off and watch some of my other content. But if you want to stick around and check everything out and see if there's any tips that you may have missed over your years of tube fishing, or maybe even add some quality conversation in the comments below, have at it. Alright, let's get into it guys. The first tube rig that is probably used the most is the basic old school tube jig. As you can see, I got one rigged up on a tube right here. It's made to make this tube spiral down to the bottom like a dying shad. And the, and the smallmouth go nuts over that as that water's cooling or, or if you're fishing schooling bass or something like that. Now this particular tube jig has a 45 degree angle eyelet on there. Now there are some other tube jigs that I believe come with a 60 degree eyelet on and that would set it up and that would set it up to look a lot like this one where the eyelet is a little more in the front of the bait this one has a little bit more of a direct fall straight down and I like to use this particular setup more for dragging the bottom and resembling a crawfish or a goby just kind of feeding on the bottom. Now next up is a little more of an unorthodox way to fish the tube and that's the shaky head. And a lot of guys don't normally think of using a shaky head jig as a tube jig but you normally end up throwing it on something like a uh, nitric style stuff or actual shaky head full worm style stuff. But if you slide a shaky head jig up inside a tube, you can get an interesting profile out of that tube. You can either make the hook go straight out like these tube jigs right out the back, or you can turn them a little bit sideways and kind of tech expose the hook back into the bait. And that's almost the same as the 60 degree heads, except it's not a ball head and it's more flat on the front. So it will help give you more of that dragging style, like a, like a craw in defense mode or a goby or another bait fish kind of feeding off the bottom. It's just a different kind of profile that they really haven't seen before. The next up is going to be my favorite way to fish this. And that's going to be the Texas rig. And this particular setup, is incredibly versatile. I like to pitch this under brush. I can drag this across the bottom like feeding bait fish or, or uh, defense crawfish. I can do a lot of different stuff with this bait. And the reason why this particular setup is so special to me is that I peg this twice. I put one peg in front of the weight and I put one peg after the weight. And I do that for a multitude of reasons. That gives this three different variations and ways to fish this. I could fish it fully pegged so I can really get some, so I can really get some accuracy with my cast, and I could pitch this thing up under cover, and I could skip this under docks, and I could do a lot of different things with this weight pegged. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't want the weight pegged, you can slide that peg all the way up. Maybe the fish are a little bit line, or a little bit weight shy to it, or maybe that weight is too close to the bait, and you're setting the hook and busting that weight right out of the fish's mouth, popping their mouth open, and you're not getting an actual hook set. You're just ripping the bait straight out of their mouth. So what I like to do when that stuff happens is I like to move the weight up the bait a little bit so it's kind of free floating there. And you could get that kind of clacking noise a little bit when you're moving it across the bottom or you can kind of get it more of a finesse presentation where it's just hanging behind the weight. Now if you're really looking for something different and this is where that extra weight comes into play is I slide that weight up to that next, I slide that next bobber stop up to the weight and you got yourself a little bit of a make makeshift mojo rig. Now this weight will sit over here, away from the bait, and the bait can hang off and on top of some grass maybe, or whatever situation you might be looking to fish this in, but this stays away from the weight, and it fishes awesome that way. The bass love this style. Now there's one secret little tip that I like to use, some other guys like to use it, some people might crucify me for telling everybody, but what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of a wine cork or salmon fishing cork or even if in a pinch you can use a piece of a cheap earplug, foam earplug. As long as it is some type of foam that will float, you can, before you rig the, before you hook the bottom of this tube, you slide that foam up inside the tube, you re-hook the bottom of the tube, and then you do this mojo style rig here where the weight is away from the bait, the weight sits down in the muck, this with that cork in there will flow up a little bit away from the weight and it can actually catch a little, some of those suspended fish that are a little harder to catch. 
All right, guys, this is where I'm gonna end the video. Those are my favorite ways to rig a tube. I really hope you guys got some useful information out of this video. If you like videos like this, let me know in the comments. I'll keep doing them. If, guys, if you guys are still hanging around by the end of this video and you haven't subscribed by now, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button right there as it pops up right about now. And then if you guys wanna see more videos like this, click the playlist of fishing videos I've got set up for you guys right here, or click two of these videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bird.